Hey guys, me Dave. Uh, I thought I'd do a little video tonight. Um, it's Sunday, 11-24-2019. Um, I, I kind of had a crappy night last night. Um, I had a few beers. It was Saturday night, so I had a few beers thinking it was going to help me fall asleep. And then um, I slept probably until about, or I slept at, at midnight um, until about 3.30 a.m. And then they woke me up and um, started to harass me pretty much. I was wide awake, could not get to sleep. I didn't feel drowsy or anything. I was wide awake, alert, and all this stuff. And um, they were remote near monitoring me, but they were doing it in a way where it was like total harassment. Um, so today I want to talk about brain brainwave signature because all of us have a certain brainwave signature um, and that's how they use this technology and stuff like that well um, you know so so um, you know I was you know before you know when they would when they would harass me with remote neuro monitoring and stuff like that I would be able to listen to like uh, binaural beats and and then they would stop after about 15 20 minutes they would stop and leave me alone um, last night um, you know I was uh, listening to uh, binaural beats on YouTube and um, to try to change my brainwave signature I was trying to change my brainwave signature um, you know trying to change my frequency to you know um, so they couldn't hit me or hoping that they would stop you know hitting me um, nothing worked I mean they were key they, they kept on doing it um, you know kept on hitting me they, they hit me for 12 hours straight um, you know I was I was uh, you know I went to bed and I woke up and I went to bed and I woke up and I went to bed and woke up until you know I did this until uh, 4 30 in the afternoon trying to get a couple hours of sleep they would not let me sleep so the beats that I usually listening listen to are like the regular beats that um, I usually listening I usually listen to so I'm thinking well maybe they already have you know if I'm changing my brainwave signature maybe they already have that frequency you know my frequency um, to the beats that I'm listening to so I thought well I'll try to listen to some other you know uh, deep sleep uh, music or whatever um, you know so I tried that and it did seem to help um, I listened to um, some music that you know was like deep sleep music or whatever um, uh, you know and, and I was listening to that and it did seem to help me kind of fall asleep um, it was just weird because I was having oh I was having some dreams you know, and in you know, some of my dreams are manipulated by them and stuff. Um, but I, it was like, I it was like I was sleeping, but I was awake, and I was like going through this dream in real time, and it was just unreal. Um, you know, so it, it was like I was, it was like I was dreaming, but I wasn't really sleeping. You know, and I went through that. Um, so I just thought I would do that. You know talk about the brainwave signature a little bit you know each of us have our own brainwave signature that they use um, to use these weapons on us and um, you know it supposedly it's pretty easy to change your 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 brainwave signature by listening to pleasing music or listening to uh, binaural beats or, or listening to different things um, you should be able to change your frequency um, and hope hope that they, they they can't hurt help they they can't hit you you know or at least um, or at least uh, lessen the the effects of the hit you know or whatever so that's what I was trying to do I was trying to do everything listening to all kinds of things on YouTube trying to change you know white noise at first it was white noise I was listening to rainfall. That didn't that didn't stop them. They they kept on hitting me, and then I was listening to the music and and stuff like that. And 
it was just it was unreal so I just thought I would do a little video about that um, you know sometimes you can you know change your brainwave signature to where they'll leave you alone but other times they you know sometimes these guys just don't stop they'll just keep on going and going and going you know um, half of the time like in my program people you know, people have said that these guys follow a strict protocol. I don't find that in my program. Um, I think these guys are so abusive. I think they're so abusive that they don't follow a, a protocol. I think they're so addicted to this. And, and the abuse takes over and their addiction takes over. And they just, and they say, screw the protocol. We're going to do whatever we want. Because they were... Um, I mean, it was almost like they were live doing it. I mean, I realized it's a supercomputer, but it was like they were live doing it too, you know, watching everything that was going on because they were making my feet itch and they were changing uh, my moods and my frequencies and, and stuff like that or hitting me with different frequencies and stuff, you know. And it was almost like they were just glued to a monitor and they were just you know they just couldn't look away you know that's what it felt like I don't know if that was the case or not but you know it's just it's just unreal you know so they, they um, harassed me for 12 hours straight you know from about you know 3 30 in the morning until about 3 30 in the afternoon and I was getting a little upset <laughs> you know because they just they weren't make you know they they were changing um uh, you know my moods or whatever to to make it so I wasn't tired I was alert I was awake I was wide awake and all this stuff and um you know they were just I don't know changing my frequencies or whatever or hitting me with different frequencies to change my moods and stuff and it was just horrible so I just thought I would document that and make a little video and uh I guess I will uh, cut this off, and I hope you guys are doing well out there, and I'll, I'll talk to you guys later.